The following satellite transmission, copyrighted by the Spiritual Renaissance Institute, is available for live broadcast in 10 seconds or for taping and rebroadcast by any AM, FM, shortwave, cable, or video outlet globally. This is a WBN Worldwide Broadcasting Network production. This is Vern Benham Grimsley with the Spiritual Renaissance Broadcast. Three minutes, 45 seconds and counting. And the final uh, abort checks between uh, several key members of the crew here in the control center and the astronauts. Launch operations manager wish the crew on the launch team's behalf. Good luck and Godspeed. The final frontiers. 40 seconds. Not the away. steaming jungles, dark forests, snow shimmering mountains. 35 seconds and counting. We are Not the unquenched deserts and the endless and oceans of this earth. Nor even are the final frontiers, the silent stretches of boundless blackness, star to star across the midnight skies. No, the final frontiers are inside us, and the mind, the soul, the spirit, and the quest, and the finding of God. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Power clear. The final frontiers are inside. Soul, the spirit, and the quest, and the finding of God. I stood and watched the grizzly giant redwood tree one windy twilight just before it rained, massive and motionless at the roots and trunk, but topmost leaves and limbs a swirl with every moving of the breeze. And I thought the human mind is thus. Though rooted in the flesh, its highest thoughts are swayed and stirred by the winds of the spirit. As a child, I've held a seashell to my ear and have heard the surging oceans roar inside it. And I've looked in a still mud puddle in a quiet pasture at evening time and have seen the moon reflected there. And I've seen silver soap bubbles shimmering in sunlight with rainbows of color cut glistening inside them. And somehow, as a boy having heard the surf in a seashell and having seen the moon in a mud puddle and rainbows in soap bubbles, I'm not in the least surprised to see God in you. Into the soil of mind, the spirit seed is sown. A greening sprig of soul takes root and turns to seek the light. Let joy spill at the brim of you, for every surging of your blood, for every pulsing at the tendons of your wrist, for every throbbing of the vein along your neck that spasms with the gush of life, let joy spill at the brim of you. Every breath that swells your ribs with fragrances of forests and of farms, earth clods crumbled under wheel and boot, for scent of salt wind splashing sea and old oaks moldering with moss, 
bad for the smell of someone's neck you love. For dusty musk of summer attics and flowers after rain. For fresh baked bread and cheese and grapes and herbal teas. For orange slices sweet with juice. And for the tongue to taste it all. Let joy spill at the brim of you. Sunrise to star rise, star set to sunrise. Let joy spill at the brim of you in praise of the living God who brought it all to be. It's when you're driving down the freeway 10 miles over the speed limit between two diesel semis and behind a moving van on a rainy midnight with your seatbelt unbuckled and no tread on the tires and all of a sudden the rear doors of the moving van come flying open and the grand piano with a four-poster bed strapped to it comes rolling out on the freeway. It's at a time like that that the average person learns to pray. In learning to doubt the fables of our childhoods, we sometimes sadly learn a doubt of everything. Thus, some conclude there is no Father God because there was no Mother Goose. Faith isn't just a crutch. Those who are lame and limping may need a crutch, but when they get stronger, they can use it as a walking staff and eventually a pogo stick. In southwestern Kansas, a cowboy lay dying. The wind whimpered softly, a coyote was crying. He lay by the campfire, his horse stood nearby, and he told us he knew that tonight he would die. What does dying feel like, a younger man said. The old cowboy smiled weakly and lifted his head, and he said, have you herded from dawn light till night, then limped to your fire and with weary delight laid down on your bedroll and loosened your belt? Remember how fine and relaxing it felt? And you loosed your bandana, unbuttoned your shirt, and then noticed how painful your swollen feet hurt. Boys, it's been many years that we've been in cahoots. So I'll tell you what dying is like, you old coots. It's like taking off a real tight pair of boots. Then he grinned up at God, and he turned on his side and said, Daddy, I'm coming. And the old cowboy died. A mighty ship, a sail upon the seas, is not navigated by taking a vote of the crew, but by taking a reading of the stars. Cleanse me, God. Give my soul a spring rain shower and hang it in the sun and let the breezes that blow through blossoms blow through me. Great Father, make my soul a surfboard skimming on a crest of sea and foam in silver sunlight to a sparkling shore. I sometimes imagine that somewhere in this vast universe a glitter with galaxies and smoldering suns, there hangs perhaps a symbol of this planet Earth of ours, a great globe suspended slowly turning in a darkened, silent chamber of some spiritual administrative headquarters far out in stellar space. 
And on that noiseless, imperceptibly turning globe in my imagination, I see thousands of tiny, pin-like twinklings of light, each marking the geographic location on this world of a man or woman or child who has made the supreme decision of all of time and all eternity to serve with joy the Father of all on every continent and country, pole to pole, from ice caps to the islands of the sea. I see those needle prick points of luminescence glittering across that darkened globe, but there are so few, so sadly, sadly few. Yet someone hearing now these words may feel a newfound yearning burn within and in this very instant make that greatest choice of all of human life to serve with joy the living God. And somewhere in my mind, I think I see another pinpoint twinkling of light appear upon a darkened globe. Grow me, God, grow me on the trellis of your will. Use me, God, use me till I'm all used up. child he came to us, born of the womb of infinity, wrapped in the swaddling clothes of time and space. The sovereign of stars and smoldering suns he was, whose hands had held the very planets in their paths, whose fingers formed this glowing galaxy, who sprinkled the blackened sky with glistening beads of liquid light who hung the midnight with a thousand diamond constellations all looped like necklaces across a jeweler's velvet cloth. As a child he came to us, born much as all men are born, dying much as all men die, but living not at all as all men live, for divinity surged in his veins. In this Galilean mankind got a glimpse of God as never prior nor since. And we have not forgotten it. The world can never be the same again. For we have seen what God is. And have seen what man can be. They who stumble by starlight shall one day see the dawn, and they shall stand in a gold molten morning of light, when truth burns like a coal of fire, a flame on the rim of the twilight world, and all the sky is caught ablaze with the sunrise of new day. They who stumble by starlight shall one day see the dawn. Our little planet plunges through the night of twilight space toward the light. Write to us, will you? 
at the Spiritual Renaissance Institute, Box 3080, Oakhurst, California, 93644, USA. For those of you listening in other countries around the world over our international satellite and shortwave network, let me spell that mailing address, Box 3080, Oakhurst, O-A-K-H-U-R-S-T, California, C-A-L-I-F-O-R-N-I-A, 93644, USA. This is a non-sectarian, non-profit program proclaiming the dawning spiritual renaissance the fatherhood of God and the brotherhood of man, the worldwide family of God. And so for now, this is Vern Denham Grimsley saying, may God's will be done by you. Good day.